We trust our cloud providers to protect us. You know, I think inherently we do. You know, cloud service providers really do their best to provide a very secure, robust environment. But one of the things that they don't do is they're not responsible for your customer data, right? So when we look at what you're actually putting in these cloud environments, not only should they not be able to see your information and your data, a lot of times they don't even have the ability to, right? So they don't have the visibility to see what's secured, you know, and what's not. Um, so when we start looking at these cloud service providers as a whole, a lot of them do offer some really good security products as part of their offering to be able to protect you from a security breach. However, unfortunately, a lot of people don't actually purchase that. You know, so they think of cloud as being a quick and easy fix to a single solution without really looking at what the entire environment involves. You know, so in that case, everything that you're putting in the cloud, they're going to protect and they're going to provide, for example, even disaster recovery, but they're not going to provide the security around that. Yeah, I always think of it as an apartment. You know, there's, a, there's someone at the front door and they're protecting the building, but they don't care if your dog's eating your couch. You need to have a little bit of both. You want to have, you know, let's pick on Microsoft. Microsoft defend their environments rigidly, but ultimately what's inside of those environments, you need to take ownership, have the ability to look at it and see what's going on. Yeah, regardless of the cloud provider you use, you always want to make sure to see what that shared responsibility model is.